Hi, Cat's Cradle here. I promised you a video several days ago that I just simply have not had time to get up. I ordered some milky spore powder and I wanted to show you how to apply it and I finally got around to it today. Just as a little background, if you haven't heard about my saga with the Japanese beetles, we had an infestation this spring. It was unbelievable. Here's some on my raspberry leaves. You can see that they just decimated it. Just, I mean, they just ate them up. Love the raspberry leaves. And I guess when they got tired of the raspberries, they decided to go to my Kentucky Wonder Beans. Here's a leaf I pulled off. You can see it just looks like lace, only just a skeletal outline of, of what it once was. So I knew I had to do something. And the secret uh, from everything I'm reading is Milky Spore Powder. And I found it at a company called yardlover.com. I placed an order and got very quick delivery, although I knew I didn't really need it till the end of June. You want to get it just as the Japanese beetles are uh, going to lay their eggs. And that generally is at the end of June. And boy, you can really tell when they start to taper off and that's the time you put it down. I hope I wasn't too late. There's the box for the Milky Spore Powder. Here's a photo I took of the side of the box. The box is just loaded with great information. It shows you the adult Japanese beetle and then what the grub looks like. I think we're probably all too familiar with that. Here's a beautiful color picture from the side of the box where it gives you the information about the life cycle of the Japanese beetle and the grub that it goes down in June, burrows down, begins coming up, and comes out the following May. The company definitely saved money on bags. I kept thinking that is the faintest print I've ever seen. But what it actually is is another bag that has been turned inside out that was a vegetable fertilizer. So they must have either got uh, the wording wrong on that or or something or had extra bags left over. But I appreciate that. They just put the milky spore powder in there and sealed the bag up. Now, the way you apply it is with this dispenser, this lawn and garden dispenser. But I didn't order it when I ordered the milky spore powder because I was determined to figure out something to some other way to dispense it and I'm glad I did because it cost $9.95 but shipping to my home would have been $16 which would have made that little uh, cardboard tube about $26 so here's what I came up with I have my best thoughts at night and really I think if you're living a good life and you're doing what's right you're entitled to inspiration and God will bless you with that and lots of times I wake up in the morning and I have uh, answers to my prayers and this was one of them how do I deliver that uh, that spore powder and, and what I did was I went and got a large tube of Christmas wrapping paper and took all the wrapping paper off and then I put some plastic wrap on tightly on one end that I held on with a rubber band. I then poked little holes all over the end of it, tiny little holes that I actually made using a corn cob holder and I thought this would probably work I went outside and cut the corner of the bag open and poured some into my tube and then began to apply it and you're supposed to apply it every four feet. You just hit that tube on the ground and I was hoping it would work that my little tube that cost me nothing would dispense it and sure sure enough it did. We went outside almost at nine o'clock so it's almost too dark for you to see but here's how it looked as I dispensed it on the ground. You can see the little white circle and it worked just great and so I just walked all along the yard every four feet I tapped it down here it got even darker but the flash worked there's a little milky spore powder circle right there um, I had thought maybe earlier that I would tie up some of the powder in a pantyhose and just tie a little knot in the pantyhose and then I have a a little grabbing tool that helps me get stuff off tall shelves and I thought well I'll just walk around holding that little bag that that I made with the pantyhose with the spore powder in it and just tap it down uh, holding on to it with that little grabber but I absolutely uh, really didn't want to breathe any in although uh, it is only harmful to Japanese beetle grubs I've read that over and over where it's just not any problem to to beneficial bugs nor is it harmful to humans but I wanted to get to eliminate any fly away powder that I could. One, because it was just more efficient application doing it that way. So I'm very pleased with how the cardboard tube worked. I'm not under any delusions that I'm not going to have any Japanese beetle problems because um, I just don't think that's possible. However, 
um, hoping to eliminate many of the Japanese beetles that might be hatched in our yard and to kill some grubs that would continue even in the winter to do damage to my soil by eating uh, the roots under there and that sort of thing. The way the spore works is that the Japanese beetle ingested and the spores begin to proliferate in the body until they just take over and the little bugs organs don't work anymore and it dies and then they just never they never are hatched in May. They never come up out of the ground. So I'm hoping that's going to be effective. Uh, I am buying insurance though and also buying some Japanese beetle traps that have a pheromone lure in them to attract any that should come into my yard next summer. So I'll let you know how it works. Again it's supposed to have, uh, the, after applying the milky spore powder you're supposed to have uh, not have any problem for uh, 10 to 15 years as that's how long it's supposed to be effective. Anyway I'm going to try it out and let you know what happens and you might want to check it out yourself. Cat's Cradle.